do it anyway do it afraid hey girl hey it's your girl Kiri and I'm back with another video if you are new here welcome you see the title of this video so we're just gonna have a little girl chat and we're gonna get right into it so let's get okay into so it. I have my phone here because I wanted to give you guys the definition of this word you see the title so that's what we're gonna be talking about we're gonna be talking about imposter syndrome as a business owner as a creator imposter syndrome period so like I said we're gonna jump right into it so I have the definition of what imposter syndrome is just so you're clear on what we're talking about if you don't know what it is so imposter syndrome also known as imposter phenomenon is a psychological occurrence in which an individual doubts their skills talents or accomplishments and has a persistent internalized fear of being exposed a lot of people now I'm seeing imposter syndrome come up a lot and it's a very serious topic because a lot of people experience it. You feel like you can't share something because people might not find you an expert in that category. Just like me, I come on YouTube and I give you guys care business advice. Some people might feel like I'm not qualified to give you that advice. But one thing about God, he, he doesn't call to qualify, he qualifies the call and i don't care what anybody has to say i'm gonna put out what i want to put out period and unfortunately you have to have that type of mindset and attitude because people will make you feel like you shouldn't be doing something that god has called you to do and that's why it's so important for you to cancel out the white noise and circle in on the word of god and what god is telling you and cancel all of that extra stuff because it just has nothing to do with you. When people have an issue with you or something that you're doing and they just can't genuinely be happy for you, although they may portray that they are, that is a personal problem with them. It has nothing to do with you. You have to learn what you're gonna give your energy to. If I felt like I was unworthy to be on YouTube and talking about what I wanted to talk about and sharing what I wanted to share, I wouldn't be as far as I am. Although it might not seem far to some people, it's far to me from where I come from. I started at zero just like everybody else. I had to work my way up and I'm doing great. And I can only imagine if I sat there and allowed comments or negative people to just prey on my downfall really. That's just what it is. I wanted to say that it's important for you to feed your mind with positivity. Feed your mind with God, first of all, because without God, we're nothing. And once we get that through our mind, we'll be better off. But when it comes to me, the things that I do to stay positive, I do a lot of praise and worship. I pray. I talk to God. To me, praying and talking to God is two different things. I'm talking to God while I'm praying. But when I pray, it's with intentionality and specificity. When I'm talking to God, I'm talking to God as if I'm talking to y'all. I'm talking about I'm talking to God throughout my day. I'm talking to him about what's going on as if he don't already know. But that's why it's two different things for me. I look at it in two different perspectives rather. I read my Bible. We really need to get into the word because everything that you go through, I promise you there's a scripture for. And I'm not just saying that, but I'm just sharing my experience with you. You wouldn't have all of these feelings if you strengthened your mind, you can't allow people to steal your joy because the devil love to do three things. He loves to steal, kill, and destroy. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus because you can't take stuff personal. Like I said, because typically it has nothing to do with you. It has every reason to do with the person who's saying it to you. So with that being said, if you have a business or if you had a, have a desire to become a content creator or you want a certain promotion on the job, no matter what it is, it, ha it has nothing to do with entrepreneurship. But if it does for you, even if you're a working person, because I once was, do it anyway. Do it afraid. Number one, God didn't give you the spirit of fear. But do it afraid. If you're afraid, just do it. Step out on faith. Stop feeling like you're not worthy to do these things because you are. You have to understand that sometimes when it comes to people being successful and it comes to people being happy, some people just don't know how to be happy for you and you have to accept that and move accordingly, that's fine. Do not surround yourself with those type of people because 
they're gonna continue to make you feel this imposter syndrome and feel like you're not worthy or you don't have the skills to do this or you don't have the talents as the definition said. Move accordingly, move on. Even with people, if you are an influencer, girl, one thing about me, as long as that block button work, I might say what I wanna say down at the bottom to you because obviously you need help, but I'm gonna block you real quick. You cannot let, you, you have to be careful what you feed into. Point blank period. You can't let people, how can I say, you can't let people tell you what you should be doing or well, why did you do this? I had somebody tell me that on one of my videos like, well, why did you share the video if you wasn't gonna blah, blah? Oh, uh, because I wanted to share the video. You didn't have to watch it, but thanks for the view. You have to carry yourself like that. And it's not being nasty or cocky, but let me tell you something real quick. One thing about it, when, when people know you a Christian, they feel like you they can just talk to you any kind of way and you're not supposed to take up for yourself or defend yourself. That's not the case, boo. I ain't read nothing in the Bible yet that said you couldn't take care for yourself. When it comes to anybody, family, friends, trolls, take up for yourself, period. And block them if you need to. There's nothing wrong with that. I'll block you. That's how I stay peaceful. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about that because I see it's a real thing. And another thing, stop focusing on what everybody else is doing or what they're saying. Focus on you. If people just focus on themselves and stop worrying about other people and making everything so personal, the world would be an amazing place. But because people don't do that, you must stay focused and you must keep the bigger picture in bird's eye view. So that's all I wanted to say for this video. Until next time, before I go, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications and like these videos so that they can reach who they need to reach in Jesus' name. And until next time, family, bye.